Ola, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. We send to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. He came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You're seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep us from all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the second letter of John. From the elder to the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth, I was overjoyed to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we have been commanded by the Father. But now, dear lady, I ask you, not as though I was writing you a new commandment, but one we have had from the beginning. Let us love one another. And this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard it from the beginning. You must walk in it. Many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Any such person is the deceiver and the antichrist. Be on your guard so that you do not lose what we have worked for, but may receive full reward. Everyone who does not abide in the teaching of Christ but goes beyond it does not have God. Whoever abides in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. The word of the Lord. Amen. Responsorial song. Let our response be, Happy are they who follow the law of the Lord. Happy, Happy are they who follow the law of the Lord. Happy are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are those who keep his decrees, who seek him with their whole heart. Response, happy are they who follow the law of the Lord. With my whole heart I seek you. Do not let me stray from your commandments. I treasure your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. Response, Happy are they who follow the law of the Lord. Deal bountifully with your servant, so that I may live and observe your word. Open my eyes, so that I may behold the wondrous things out of your law. Response, Happy are they who follow the law of the Lord.
Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the disciples, Just as it was in the day of Noah, so too will it be in the day of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and marrying and be given in marriage until the day Noah entered the ark. And then the flood came and destroyed all of them. Likewise, just as it was in the day of Lot, they were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But on that day Lot let Sodom, it rained fire and sulfur from heaven and destroyed all of them. It will be like that on the day that the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, anyone on the housetop who has belongings in the house must not come down to take them away. And likewise, anyone in the field not turn back. Remember Lot's life. Those who are trying to make their life secure will lose it. But those who lose their life will keep it. I tell you, on that night, there will be two in one bed. One will be taken, the other will be left. There will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken, the other left. Then Jesus, they said, asked him, Where, Lord? Jesus said to them, Where the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. First of all, um, many times this, these passages are used to justify something called a rapture, that you know, people will just be left behind or taken up or, or whatever. Um, and uh, you can try to explain it that way, but I think it's a lot easier to explain it as things normally happen here on earth. You know, um, we know two people can be doing the exact same thing, and one can be taken and one can be lost. I, I know of someone who was standing on a mountainside by his friend. The avalanche took his friend. They were within hands reach of one another and left him alone, unscathed. You know, there's many situations where, you know, one person dies, everyone else is fine. And we're always reminded at this end times that our lives always have to be ready for when God is calling us. Like, yes, we can carry on with our normal business, but we must always keep that in mind, you know, is our soul ready for God? The verse that stood out for me this morning is, where the corpse is, there the vault vultures will gather. Now, if you've ever worked on a farm, you know that whenever you see a bunch of crows gathering in a tree, a large bunch of them squawking, there's going to be something dead underneath, or not dead, close to dying. And this is something that we will see also in our lives, is that we will have these crows and vultures in our life, in the dead areas of our lives. And these crows and vultures look like something called anxiety and fear. You know, and they pick on dead areas of our lives. When I say a dead area of our life, I mean an area that has not been turned fully over to God. So look at those areas that you and I distrust God, that do not, you know, that large anxieties and fear are in. These are the areas that God wants to call back to life in us so that you and I can live uh, freely, fully, you know, and give our lives more faithfully to God.
for brothers and sisters gathered as one to celebrate the good things we have received from our God. Let us ask him to prompt in us prayers that are worthy of his hearing. We pray for our Holy Father Francis, for Pope Emeritus Benedict, for our Bishop Joseph, for their health, intentions, and constant growth in faith, hope, and charity. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we pray for the grace to... Um, to allow you to bring back to life those areas that have died in our lives, Lord, that are not turned over to you. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for our deceased relatives and friends, especially those written in the book of remembrance of the dead. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for the evangelization and conversion of our parish. For this we pray to the Lord. This Mass, we pray in a special way for Jacob and Cecilia Powler. For this, we pray to the Lord. In a moment of silence, we offer for our own prayers and petitions. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all the holy souls in purgatory, and we ask them to join us with the saints and angels in heaven, especially St. Joseph, our Blessed Mother, St. Francis Xavier Calabrini, to pray for more vocations to the priesthood, to the consecrated life, and to holy matrimony, to preserve all those in their vocations, and assist us in our universal call to holiness. For this we pray to the Lord. May the petition of your church be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look with favor we pray O Lord upon these sacrificial gifts offered here celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your heart. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, full of your glory, Hosanna in the heart. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to Hold us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all, we have, all who have hoped. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on word in my soul My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
the disciples recognized the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Let us pray. Nourished by the sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy, that as by pouring forth your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly powers enter through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Prayer of St. Gertrude. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today. For all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, 